Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the image of a homomorphism. We are given a mapping phi from M2 star to M2 star. For M2 star is a set of 2 by 2 invertible metric. And the mapping will send ABCD to 1101 times ABCD times inverse of 1101. What we are going to do is to find the inverse of phi. How do I find this? Recall the statement in John Fredline's text, a first course in abstract algebra, section 13, page 128. Let phi be a mapping from x to y. Then to set phi of x, when x belongs to x there, is the range of phi and is denoted by the image of phi. So in this case, since phi is a mapping from m2 star to m2 star, an image of phi is phi of x, where x belongs to m2 star, and we know that any element belong to m2 star is a 2 by 2 matrix A, B, C, D, with A, D minus B, C not equal to 0. Since phi from m2 star to m2 star, so we know that image of phi will be a subset of m2 star. Therefore, we conclude that image of phi is a subset of m2 star. Next, we are going to claim a reverse. That means that m2 star is actually a subset of image of phi. That means that m2 star belongs to the set containing phi of x, where x belongs to m2 star. Now to do this, what we do is pick any element belong to M2 star. Let A, B, C, D belong to M2 star. Now we want to find an X now such that A, B, C, D is equal to phi of X. And where is this X from? This X belongs to M2 star. What does it mean? Remember, the mapping phi of x means that is equal to 1101 1, multiplied by x, where x belongs to m2 star, multiplied by 1101 1, 1, inverse. So now we are able to find x now. What we do is multiply on the left by 1101 1, 1, inverse. Alright, then a, B, C, D, then multiply on the right by 1, 1, 0, 1. And we do the same thing on the right hand side. We multiply on the left by 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse. Then multiply by 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse times 1, 1, 0, 1. By doing so, we notice that 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse times 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse times 1, 1, 0, 1 is identity. So we know that the right hand side is actually the identity times x times identity, and the left hand side is 1, 1, 0, 1 inverse times a, b, c, d times 1, 1, 0, 1. Now, Identity has no effect on multiplication, so the right hand side will be x. So left hand side is 1, 1, 0, 1, a, b, c, d, 1, 1, 0, 1. So we have found our x now, so that image of x is a, b, c, d. So image of x is a, b, c, d. Now the only thing we have to check. Does this x belong to M2 star? Yes, you can check easily. First, how do we check? The check is determinant of x is what? Now, determinant of x is equal to determinant of, in this case, is 1101 1, 1, inverse times a, b, c, d times 1101. 1, we know the property of determinant. This is determinant of 1101 1, 1 inverse 
time determinant of A B C D time determinant of one one zero one and we know that determinant of one one zero one is one determinant of one one zero one inverse is also one so this is one and determinant of A B C D is A D minus B C and we know that this is not equal, not equal to zero therefore x is invertible so x is invertible 2 by 2 metric so x belong to m2 star so that means for any x belong to m2 star right for any x belong to m2 star x is actually belong to the image of phi that means that m2 star is a subset of image of phi therefore the conclusion is m2 star now is actually the image of phi now that is the end of the recording